Bring out the sledgehammer of sadness. Ugh. All this crap is going down. I have no time for it. Oh my god, can we even break this? Hello everybody, Grace Boys, and we're back with more of the greatest take money from Chang Choi and Become Rich Simulator the world has ever known its house flipper. Our boy is Chang Choi though. Because he will buy everything and spend a lot of money to do it. You're gonna notice our stack of cash groweth pretty good. Which I mean, we're we're a very frugal individual over here. I mean, for the most part, we're still in the exact same house. Um, but there's been a brand new stealthy update. These updates come like ninjas in the night. Over to the computer of greatness. Now, supposedly, there's a bunch of new items in the game. There's a bunch of new, like, little quality of life changes with the UI and stuff like that. But more importantly, there are even more people to bid on your house. You get the understanding of what people like and don't like while you're messing with it. And there's a, air quotes, very special house to buy to the browsers. So we've had dirty, all these, the... What the hell? Barbie house, this must be it. I don't, this one may be a new one too. But this one is definitely new. A freaking Barbie house. This is amazing. Oh my god, we're gonna go ahead and flip a life-size Barbie house. I, I can't wait. What sort of atrocities will Barbie and Ken have performed inside of this beast? Wow! Oh, there we go! Okay, so there's our people on the left-hand side. That's Chang Choi at the top over there. Everyone's gonna give us ideas about how they feel involved the stuff that we're doing. So right now, the... what are they called? The Smoth family or something? They're on top. Everyone's kind of rearranging themselves depending on the things we are currently doing to this house. So let us take a moment to gander at the outside. Lovely, uh, I don't know what the hell these are. It almost looks like colorful weeds. Lovely landscaping, a two-story, this is the biggest house I think we've messed with yet. Two-story, Pepto-Bismol pink house. Look at that staircase going up. There are a lot of new items too. I just have to find out where they all are. This is a fantastic size yard as well. We, we do have a garage. I wonder if the, uh, are those two swans? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wow. It is 100% pink all day, every day. Okay. I don't know how much of this house there's actually going to be to flip. Let's uh, let's open up the garage over here. See what we got inside. Yeah! <laughs> there it is! <laughs> USA 4564, baby! This is incredible. Oh! We even have the pink Avenger bike. Oh, you can pick it up? No, oh, you can. You can pick the bicycle up. Like, can you move it out of the house, or? No, it has to It has to stay inside of the house. Okay, I was always I always wondered about that kind of stuff. Do you have to, like, park it against the wall, or will it just kind of, like, yep, you, you have to lean it against the wall. Random ball hanging around. We got a bunch of uh, Barbie and Ken crates over here. We can't mess with the car. Can't go into it, sadly. Inside of the main area of the house. Look at this creature. Mother of God. You even have your Dr. Seuss painting over on the window over there. Very, very, the two-tone pink on pink paint. <sighs> what do you do to the house that has everything? I, I guess we're going to have to make this a little bit more masculine. Look at this bathroom. Wow. Man, Barbie has her stuff everywhere. There's a pink hair dryer. Look at all this crap. You got the two Cupids making out on the wall. We got all her stuff for her, I don't know, her bath soaps and her makeups and her exfoliants and everything. Okay. What does the up- Oh, there's my favorite refrigerator too. What does the upstairs look like? How- We're gonna have to take this apart. I mean, it's- We at least have to throw a new thing of paint all over this giant monstrosity. Oh my god, there's a giant pink flower on the wall. More paintings. We got- Two different rooms up in here. A lovely- Look at this gigantic- Ah, oh, the bunnies are multiplying! All we had before was the killer murder bunny, and now there's twin bunnies hanging out. Well, there are bunnies everywhere. This room. It's like- It's like happiness vomited all over this room. Look at how lived in this looks. There's all kinds of, like, little knickknacks and stuff on the wall- On the, uh, desk over here. A couple of potted fake plants in there, have ya? And then this, what is this, just like a, a linen room? Yeah, I guess it's just like a linen room. All right. 
So, wow. This is a hell of a house. Uh, no joke. This is a hell of a house. Well, I guess let's get to work. We're gonna have to... <laughs> we gotta throw some blue in here or something. This is... This is insane. Let's, uh... Let's grab our painty do over here. And start trying to get rid of some of this. Now, the two-tone look, I kind of like. It's weird how it... How it doesn't really have a pattern, though. I don't know. It almost... It almost looks a little artistic this way, but whatever. Let's go ahead and start laying the blue down. As we paint the holy hell out of this room, it is time for a little story time with Ray. So... I don't remember what House Flipper episode it was, but a while back I had mentioned about uh, some very minor instances where I had observed what I believe some paranormal activity was. Around the house here, now this is a different house than the, uh, the previous one I had spoke of. Around the house here, my wife and I have been noticing some very odd things happening. It, it all started a while back. When, uh, and this is going on for like years. A while back, I noticed that the toaster in the kitchen was unplugged. And I was very annoyed by this because since it was unplugged, I couldn't, I had to plug it in every time I wanted to use it. So one day I decided to finally tell my wife, I was like, stop unplugging the toaster. And she's like, I haven't been unplugging the toaster. That was the first instance of mind blowing sadness. Life continued on and we didn't think much of it, but recently, other odd things, odd things have been occurring just the other day. It's like, imagine, imagine for a moment that you had a, uh, imagine for a moment that you had a ghost, but it was the most annoying ghost in the world. Like it didn't actually do anything scary. It basically just did stuff to drive you completely insane. That's what I feel like is happening. So I was eating a pop tart the other day and I was having a good time and I was going to go put the second, because I only wanted the one Pop-Tart, I was going to put the secondary Pop-Tart into a Ziploc bag, so it would stay nice and fresh so I could eat it another time. Well, when I put the secondary Pop-Tart in the Ziploc bag, the first Pop-Tart freaking vanished into thin air. Vanished into thin air. Okay? I'm not going crazy or anything, I'm not that old. It just freaking disappeared. Now on top of this, re can we sell this stuff? Nine dollars? Oh, it's a little mat on top of it. Oh! Where the hell are those at? Anyway, on top of that, recently my wife bought some, uh, some, like, cleansing, exfoliate, whatever, whatever women buy. Totally gone. Completely missing. Bought it, brought it home, put it in the kitchen area, freaking gone. Do you have a room in your house that is clearly haunted? You gotta let me know in the comments section. You know there's no toilet paper roll in here? How odd is that? That is this beautiful kick-ass bathroom and there's not a single toilet paper roll dispenser anyway. I thought that was a little weird. All right, Barbie. Sorry, all your friggin' all your fr friggin' womenly doodads are hanging. Was that a toothbrush right there? There was a damn toothbrush over there. That looked pretty legit. I'm selling this too. Whoa! Okay. Whoops. Well, that's fine, because apparently mirrors work in this game now, so maybe we'll get to see the mirror legitimate. Alright, man. I really think that this room's starting to come together now. We fixed this place up. It's everything a man would want in their glorious bathroom. We have a fantastic way of telling time. We've got plenty of things for you to play with. We've got a microwave over here so that while you're in your hot tub, you can make sure to follow all safety regulations. Couple of our buddies lingering around, some more masculine candles, we're friggin' done. This is fantastic. That is a bathroom worth bathrooming in. Alright. We need some more masculine colors here. Very, very masculine. We're going for white. And what do I want to go with this? Oh, pistachio green. Oh, it's gonna be friggin' perfect. Alright, let's start laying the law onto these walls over here. Look at these friggin' pink walls. We gotta, we gotta fix this. Right now, all the world is about to change. Alright, so we got a bunch of little, oh my god, how am I supposed to get these friggin' panels in here? Look at the tiny little panels I have to try and get. Oh, they're such a pain in the ass. They had to friggin' like, 
look at how some of it is pink and some of it's red. They did it in freaking intervals over here. It's so difficult to touch. Hold on. Maybe if I crouch down. There we go. All right, so crouching appears to be the key. There we go. Okay, we got everything green over here. Now, like they did, we need to put, like, just one over here and, like, maybe, like, two over here and, like, a chunk or two over there. We go, like, like that. There we go. That's starting to look hot right there. That's, look at these little areas with all the, there's like chopsticks and stuff in here. I almost don't want to get rid of this portion. It looks pretty slick. These we're going to have to change out. We're going to have to get a different color or something in here because this, this, uh, this, the pink on red ain't going to work, man. Over to the celly goo. Get on out of here. You're gone. You're gone too, you scumbag piece of garbage. These two have to go. These paint buckets can go. That'll go for right now. We'll figure out another thing here in a minute. All right, get rid of this one over here. Put this one down over here. I'm going to tell you something. This kitchen is starting to look freaking legit. Hold on. We're going to slap this over here for right now. Let me just move all this stuff on here. We need our wino bottles up in here. A couple of fancy vases in there, have you? There we go, one of those. I actually like these colors, so I'm going to keep those right there. And this plant, um, this plant can go, actually, hold on. I think we can fit this plant on here. Put you over there, you over there. Grab the delicious plant of leafiness and, like, right, oh, look at that. Right, right, right there. So now the kitchen's looking legit. This is so that you can microwave multiple Hot Pockets all at the same time. Or Totino's Pizza Rolls, if that's your thing. You've got to have a TV in every single room if this is going to be the appropriate man land. We've traded out the red and pink crap for delicious cherry and black granite. That's what I'm talking about. And then we got the black LG freaking refrigerator over here. I put these two stools down. Uh, they're for when you have individuals over that have really, really long torsos. All right, we got a couple extra wine bottles over here to drown your sorrows. That's looking pretty good. All right, so now this portion of the living room. Uh, well, first things first, this picture has to go to hell. That's out of here. We're going to have to find a better picture. Let's see. No, no, no. I'm looking for something that really screams power and 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 gracefulness waterfalls those are pretty good you got the sea over here that looks decent as well random buildings that's always nice a picture of a kitchen inside of the kitchen yeah sure you know whenever you can't find a better picture just grab another tv you know what screw it it doesn't it doesn't look like it wants to sit perfectly level so, look at that. It's not level there, and it's not level there. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to put it like that. Pink? I don't think so. What a bunch of freaking crap. Throw this over here. Cherry. Beautiful. That's what we want. Right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is... this. The entire house is transforming. Qu what in the hell happened over here? I can't put this on here? What a freaking crock of crap! It was on there for the other for the other people. This is a bull crap. All right. Uh, new idea. There we go. Where there's a will, there's a freaking way. We I told you we'd get it on there one way or the other. Hold on. Right there. Perfect. Oh, it's glorious. All right. Things are starting to come together. Let's get rid of all this crap. All your friends and your kittens and your your candles and your swaths of there have you. All that crap's going. Oh my god, I really underestimated how much stuff we would have to do. Holy crap. Okay, living room's finally done for the most part. Got rid of all the pink mats and all the little freaking knickknacks and dude, I don't even want to look at this room right now. Upstairs we go. You know what? The upstairs is going to be too difficult. So we're going to we're going to change things around a little bit here. Bring out the sledgehammer of sadness. Ugh. All this crap is going down. I have no time for it. Oh my god, can we even break this? Oh, oh, it's, I think it's working. It kind of looks like it's working. Hold on. Uh, come on, go down. Uh, come on. Uh, how about up here? Boom, there it goes. Oh, and the wall falls down. It just took a lot. Wow. 
Like, it did not want to break no matter what I did. How about over here? There we go. Good. Go. Yes. Perfect. Oh, you know what we need to do? Let's sell this freaking door frame. There we go. Everything fell down real good after the door frame went missing. All right. A little bit more over here with the hammer of Thor. There she goes. Easy does it like that. Yep. Perfect. Beautiful. Ugh. I want my new hammer upgrade, damn it. Ah. There we go. It took some doing, but we did it. So I don't know how I did this, but um, I ended up using my powers of house flippery wizardry in order to make this yellow paint can float in midair. Whatever. <sighs> Whatever. I think I'm going to turn this into a nice dining room. So I want to put this painting in the middle, but I can't. Uh, I think it's because it's too far over the steps or something. So this is going to be off-centered. We're all just going to have to deal. There we go. All right. There we go. Just thought I'd throw in some friggin' mood striping because everyone else seems to do it. We need a big dinner table here. What's the biggest dinner table we can get? Uh, let's see here. I mean, this one's called dinner table. It's got to be pretty big, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not bad at all. Okay. I think we can make this work. All right, dining table's all set up. Everything's looking quite ritualistic and everything. That looks pretty good. I gotta tell you, I think we did a really good, I think we did really good with the dining area. Really good. So, the last thing that we would have to do is this friggin' room. I almost forgot. A nice, slightly sideways TV in the dining area. Perfect. You know what? This way, when people walk up the stairs, they can, oh, you can't put it there. Okay, well, that's fine. Can I shove one over here? There we go. So it's like a low, low, low flying TV. Oh man, this room. The oh, you know what? Hold on. The black and the dark red might actually work pretty good. Oh yeah. What do you think of that? It reminds me of like a licorice candy. That's what it feels like. It feels like licorice or something. Um, oh, do I, have, I don't even, I don't know if I have enough time to mess with all this. Okay, I tried to, I tried to get some stuff done. This, this is a big ass house. We managed to do a lot of it, but holy crap, there's still so much more work to do. We may have to try again or do a, do, do the rest of the house another time. Am I floating in the air? That was weird. I think I was riding along the railing. Let's see what kind of prices everyone gives us for our delectable house. We bought it for 192,000. Chang Choi, make my life happy and glorious. Saloon with kitchen set, okay. 112, very good. Where can I cook? I have a cooking spot for you, you hoe bag. Uh-huh, bedroom, this is it, dude. Yeah, 199. Chang Choi, bringing it on. Oh, we only made 212. You gotta be kidding me, I only made four grand off of that. I guess it was a very nice house in general. Too many rooms? What the hell? I busted down all kinds of room with my diet sledge ever. All right, that's going to be it for now. We sold the Barbie house and kind of turned it into a real house for the most part. Chang Choi, our boy, once again, throwing down the stacks of dollars. Hope you guys enjoy it. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.